Here is an application problem. Question number six. In a theater, each row of seats has three more than the row in front of it. If there are seven seats in the first row, how many are there in the 15th row? Well, one way to solve this problem is we can start with seven. If there are seven seats in the first row, so we say seven in the first row, right? And three more in every row. So three more. So seven plus three, ten. Ten plus three, thirteen. Thirteen plus three, sixteen. Sixteen plus three, nineteen. Like this we can go on to fifteenth row and find our answer. This is one way of finding solution. Correct? Now, second way is to find a general term and like this, Tn equals to A plus N minus 1 into D. My purpose of writing this formula here is that you should look at it and try to remember it. It's very simple to remember how it works like this. In arithmetic se se sequences, in arithmetic sequences, every successive term has a constant difference with the previous one. Now here if you see, what is 10 minus 7? 10 minus 7 is 3, right? 3 more, correct? It has to be 3. 3 more at 3, right? Now, it goes up by 3 every time. A is our first term. So we'll write the general formula now. We say Tn equals to the first term 7 plus General term, let's say second term. How many times did we add 3? In the second term, we added 1 time. Let me write this as T1, T2, T3, T4. In term 2, we added 3 1 time. In term 3, we added 3 2 times. In term 4, we added 3 3 times. 1 less than 4. Do you see that? In term 5, we added 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1 more. 4 times. 1 less than 5. Therefore, it is n minus 1 times 3, the common difference. D is the common difference. That is how you get your general formula. Right? There is one more way of getting the general formula. That is, you learned just now in the function statement that the common difference is represented by the slope of the line. After all, arithmetic sequence, if you plot, those points will fall on a line, correct? The slope of the line is the common difference. So 3 it becomes a common difference, 3 slope, so 3 times some number plus some number will give you this number. Now. 3 times 1 is how much? 3 times 1 is 3. How do you get 7 plus 4? So I'll give you this formula here. I'll say Tn equals to 3 times 1 is 3. And how do you get 7? Plus 4. 3 times 2, 6. Plus 4 is 10. 3 times 3, 9. Plus 4 is 13. So my formula is 3 times n plus 4. So that formula gives us the result. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. Do you get it? And I can show you both of them are same. How? Let me expand. 3 times n minus 3. Which is 7 minus 3 is 4. Plus 3n. Or 3n plus 4. Do you see both the formulas are same. So that is how you can get your general formula. So there are two different ways. Adopt this method of common difference or like y equals to mx plus b. Let me write that also as second option for you. y equals to mx plus b. Where m is same as d. Where m is common difference. d. Do you see that? So that is your another way of writing it. Now let us find 15th term. So for 15th term, we can use the formula. So T15 equals to 3 times 15 
plus 4. 3 times 15 is 45 plus 4, which is 49. Do we have 49? Yes, we do. That's your answer. Do you see how we can get our answer so easily with the formula? Well, if the terms are limited, you can also go without thinking, get the answer. Anyway, multiple choice question, get the right answer. I hope you get the strategy. Thank you.